this short video clip, we will demonstrate OpenVBP software running as a virtual switch, formatting packets between 12 10 gb physical ports. We will show the MDR packet throughput for 64 byte frames uh, in this topology. MDR here stands for non-drop rate or uh, read basically a zero frame loss. Let me briefly describe the setup before we run the benchmark test. Hardware configuration first. Server is a UCSC24 TM4, a two CPU socket machine with Intel Axion E5 processors. For network connectivity, we have 12 10 gb ports hosted on six 2 port 10 gb NICs, totaling 120 gig of bandwidth. Software OpenVPP is configured here as a virtual switch forwarding packets between physical ports. VPP is running as a user mode application on Ubuntu Linux host 1404 Trusty. VPP runs with 24 threads on 24 cores, no hyperthreading used. VPP is using DPDK driver for uh, 10 gb NICs and uh, RSS side scaling, receive side scaling uh, used for um, NICs to distribute packets flows to VPP threads. So RSS is set to 2. VPP is configured to root traffic and has 2 million IPv4 entries. Uh, so IP, 2 million IPv4 slash 24 routes uh, in its routing forwarding table. To perform the MDR test and backend benchmark, we are using XCR router tester with 12 of 10 GB ports to match the SUT setup, so the system of the test, and we are sending traffic between the ports pairwise as per the blue arrows. XCI is sending 2 million of IPv4 flows to hit every and single entry in the VPP IPv4 FIP. Let's quickly look at uh, XCI configuration. But uh, first, let's actually start the traffic. So that it's flowing when we are talking, or I'm talking and you're listening. We have 12 flow groups uh, configured sending packets pairwise between the 12 10 gb ports, as discussed previously. Each flow group is sending 166.7k flows times 12, that's our 2 million flows. Frame size configured is uh, fixed to 64 bytes, Ethernet contact size, so 18 by Ethernet header, 46 byte IPv4 header, IPv4 packet. Uh, we are sending those packets at 77% of line rate uh, of 10 gb the reason is that the NICs we are using in the setup have a limit of just above 23 million PPS of aggregate frame rate. So if you do your mouse, 10 gb line rate is 1488 million PPS times 2, that's 29.76. 23 million PPS, that's just above 77%. The NICs we're using here are an Intel X520. So that's what we have set the rate to. Let's now look at uh, the rates. Uh, we should uh, have uh, 11.46 uh, million packets per second uh, per 10 gb interface, so that's about right. Um, if we look at the aggregate rate, that's uh, 137 uh, uh, million, 137.5 uh, million uh, PPS, so that's that's our 77% of 120 gig. As you can see, there are some uh, frames uh, reported as uh, delta. These are basically uh, the frames uh, in flight, so they are after being sent by XCA tester, but before arriving to uh, to the tester. So these are the in flight. Uh, to really verify that uh, the traffic, uh, that we know dropping packets, uh, let's stop the traffic and see if we actually lost any frames. We can see that we have lost a total of one frame. And uh, that's uh, on the receive side, uh, the eighth interface. It's a troublesome interface. Uh, we had that issue uh, before. Uh, we're basically getting uh, some CRC errors on this interface uh, due to the uh, dirty cable. So we lost um, one packet over 12 billion. Uh, that's well below um, ITU 10 to minus 7 uh, acceptable uh, packet loss for NDR. And, um, and it's not due to software, but it's actually due to uh, hardware dirty cable. So, thank you for listening.